misunderstood Using groans and convulsions To say what I wish I could Kick in the bed, running away Something that a lot of you have been asking me is to go into a little further depth behind the songs to kind of bring you in and share with you why I wrote the songs, who they're about, um, what the inspiration is behind them. So, here we go. I'm going to let you just open my chest, take out my heart, examine it, put it on the table, see what makes it stick, see what makes it beat. This is damn good scotch. Woo. A girl's gotta have a drink if she's gonna reveal her heart. Just saying. So Crazy is, it's the uh, title track of my record. It's the first song. Uh, oh my goodness. So Crazy is, I wrote, I remember I was sitting in this little wine bar in New York and this was coming out of having serious writer's block for a long time. It really just flowed out of me um, so intensely and it was about a relationship that had ended a couple years prior but something that I had never really addressed or confronted. Um, you know, the relationship ended and I felt free after the relationship ended, but I never quite um, realized why I felt so free. But I remember it was this moment of catharsis, sitting in this wine bar in the West Village, just lyrics pouring out of me, pouring out of me. You know, crazy is being misunderstood, using groans and convulsions to say what I wish I could. It's about being in a relationship with somebody who just does not get you. And you can't quite pinpoint why they don't get you. So you act a little crazy. And I think um, a lot of women, if not every woman, has been in that position. The beautiful thing about love and relationships is that you can't always explain why it's so good. And by the same token, you can't always explain why it's so bad. You can't explain why you have that feeling in your stomach that's just making you kind of like cringe and, and kind of go a little bit fucking crazy, you know? He made me think that it was me, that I was the one that needed to change. But it's just the idea of this uh, changing yourself for somebody to make the relationship work. And it, was, it wasn't until after the fact that I realized, no, fuck that, that's not how it should be at all. This person should love me for who I am, craziness and all. Um, you know, and so I was made to feel like I wasn't worthy enough. Like, no man that you're with should ever make you feel like your body isn't perfect enough or you're, you're not doing the right things with your life. You know, there should be encouragement and there should be um, motivation, but there's a fine line between that and judgment. And this relationship that I was in was very much about judgment. And uh, writing Crazy Is gave me a lot of closure on that relationship. Um, the last line of the song is, maybe the root of my so-called insanity is nothing more than you. And just being able to say that, being able to say, yes, maybe I acted a little bit crazy, but maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it was because you weren't touching me the right way. You weren't giving me what I needed. Any, any woman that's ever been told that she's crazy in a relationship, I encourage to examine the relationship as a whole and kind of see what the root of that is. Hopefully just like two people watch this. Ha <laughs>